Hey there everyone, T here. This is episode 387 of the End AIDS series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. Um, it's Southern Time Productions Funding Drive Day 353 since I started that January 3rd this year. And it is uh, December 22nd, 2022 today. The final 22222 day of 2022. So, um... <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it's, uh, what day is it? It's Thursday, and, um, yeah, just a few days before Christmas, um, bought a razor for my son, easy for his hair, easy to, that's pretty much it, that's all I did today, oh, I teach a student today online, and, um, that's it, I talked with Alistair last night. Um, Southern Time Productions finance financial guy will be our CFO once funded, and um, he um, he's always supportive and um, yeah, a very very good person to have on the team. So yeah, just uh, yeah, just it'd be such a ma- miracle if uh, we could get funded. At least even thirty thousand Canadian would get us started. Southern Time Bank could start rehearsing and performing locally. Um, yeah. And uh, then we could attract a fan base and then we could expand from there and to show what the next stage of the project would look like. But it really re- rests in the Dreamer series. The whole thing rests in the Dreamer series. That's the foundation. Once that proof of concept is there, everything can will be um, we'll expand from there. So it's, it's quite the story because it's my story, right? It's, you know, and I saw a really good, um, um, film advice, um, uh, YouTube a video and, uh, and, uh, this, um, writer says, um, about, uh, dilemma and, uh, what makes stories the most powerful is when, the dilemma for the main character is there and um, it's the inciting incident and I know where that is in the dreamer series so it's like and it's also when it happens in inciting incident the main character has faces this incredible dilemma of his life right do I go this way or do I go that way and uh, and then and then also the climax um so what happens at the end of the, the the film or the series right or the episode in the series right what's it's but usually over the series is a ultimate there's dilemmas within dilemmas that res- resolves so as the character changes but um, the main thing I know what that is in the dreamer series and how it resolves is right now right and so face you face a similar dilemma it near the climax, um, and uh, and uh, and then does the character decide to make the same mistake again, or does he try something different, maybe better? So, yeah, so I'm making those choices now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you're doing well, and you know, story art represents life, and and vice versa. Um, so you know. Like write down the story of your life. That's what we want to do at Southern Time Productions. Um, produce series like my story. This is the template, the Dreamer series. But they're going to do other series of other powerful real life stories, like Layla Lumentillo. I forget her last name. I should get that down. Lumentillo, I think. But Layla, um, 22 years old, um, living in Norway now, but from the Congo. It's an incredible story to, to tell. And there's thousands if not millions of other people like her and me out there we had this deep connection it's like oh you've been through hell and back yeah I've been there to see you and I think those are powerful stories the world needs to, to see and to be aware of put into context the hell that's been going around for a, a lot of people for a long long time under the surface of the mainstream eye you know so what the mainstream is going through right now is starting to represent the hell that a lot of us have been going through for decades, right? And so for years. 
So just to put things in context, you know, and maybe you guys could learn from us, um, sort of what we've gleaned, how we've, if we survived, obviously we figured something out that's working so we can pass that wisdom along. Anyways, guys, hope you're doing well. Talk tomorrow.